Welcome to all of you on the channel Maths with Munir. I hope that you all are doing great and watching my videos. So today we are going to talk about rotation which is third part of transformation and not to be neglected we have covered already translation and we have also learned about reflection. So today we are going to learn about rotation. So what does it mean by rotation in general? Rotation means that turn around. So once we are turning an object or turning a body, what do we actually need? We need three things. We need three things. The first thing is angle, which is very important. The second is basically direction, whether you are rotating an object or a figure or a point along the clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. And the third point that you need is basically center of rotation so these are the three very important things that you need in order to rotate an object on xy plane so i am going to begin with the concept of rotation from the very basic and i am assuming that you know nothing about rotation so please keep watching this video till the end and i am sure that you will be learning a lot of things by the end of this video okay so first of all we are going to make an xy plane okay what does this xy plane made up of okay when two real lines basically the x prime and this is x and this is y prime and this is y so when two real lines met together so they formed a plane so this is your real line which is horizontal and this is vertical line so this is your first quadrant so here is your second quadrant and here is your third quadrant and over here we have our fourth quadrant on the, on these four quadrant we always know that over here all positive we can say all positive over here only sine is positive over here only tan is positive and over here only cos is positive what do i mean by that on x axis we always take cos theta on y axis we always take sine theta so when all are positive it means that x axis is positive y axis is positive over here in this quadrant over here we have only sine is positive it means that x is negative and y is positive over here on this plane both are negative on this on this quadrant fourth quadrant we have only cos positive so means that x is positive and y is basically negative so this is the basic about x y plane okay so what i am going to do now i am going to take a random figure a right angle triangle over here let's assume that this is the right angle triangle i am taking and the coordinates are a b and c the vertices or the coordinate of this point A are let's say on x axis is basically let's say 3 and on y axis let it, let's say it's 2 and the coordinate of this point B on x axis let's say this point is basically your 6 and on y axis it's 2 and for this coordinate C or this point C on x axis it's 3 and on y axis let's say it is 6 on y axis let's say it's 6 so these are the three coordinate of a triangle ABC now what I am going to do now what we will learn by the end of this video we are going to learn the rotation on clockwise and we are going to learn the rotation and on anti-clockwise as well where we are keeping the center of rotation as center at first I am going to rotate this triangle XYZ on 90 degree along 90 degree by keeping this center of point uh, on clockwise direction. So at first 90 degree is the angle. The direction is basically clockwise. C dot W means that it's not actually a class work. It means that it's clockwise. And the third it means that center o comma o 0 comma 0 so i told you earlier only these are the three things that we needed in order to rotate any figure or any object this is your angle this is the direction 
and this is the center of point where we want to rotate so in general the student are doing the tracing method but i i don't really like that tracing method so what i'm going to tell you now i'm going to give you another method in which you can rotate and figure very quickly and very easily so let's write the point a b c over here the coordinates of a are 3 comma 2 the coordinates of b are 6 comma 2 and the coordinate of C are 3 comma 6. Once you are rotating an object in clockwise direction by keeping your center as origin, what you need to do? So simply switch the places. What do I mean by that? It take it as 2, 3, take this as 2 comma 6 and take this as 6 comma 3. Now you need to know your original position our original position is on the first quadrant and we are rotating it clockwise. So once we are rotating it clockwise it means that from the first quadrant we are coming into the fourth quadrant. Now in this fourth quadrant x axis is your positive and y axis is your negative. So by write the minus sign over here in all these three. Now draw these points. The first point A is 2 comma minus 3. On x axis it's 2. So over here it was 3. So 2 will be slightly behind. And y axis minus 3. So here you go minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. So this is the first point that we have got A prime which is minus 2 comma minus 3. Now the second point B is 2 comma minus 6. So this is our 2, 1, 2, minus 6, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So 2 comma minus 6, this is our B prime. And C prime is 6 comma minus 3. On X axis, it's 6. So 6 we have here, and minus 3. 1, 2, 3. So we will be coming over here. So this is going to be, I should write, it over here plus minus okay so this is the point that we have got as C prime now join these three points together and you see we have rotated our triangle by keeping this center 90 degree clockwise so what if if I'm moving now one more thing that I would really like to highlight over here while we are moving to the uh, anti-clockwise direction. This is your object and this is your image. The original figure is basically going to call it as object and this is going to be your image. Now I want to move the same triangle ABC that we have over here into anti-clockwise direction 90 degree. So I am keeping the angle 90 degree. Now the direction initially I took clockwise so 90 degree anti-clockwise direction and the center of point I am going to take is basically 0 comma 0. So again we will be using the same formula so A prime B prime and let's say double prime so to keep it the difference between all these three points. So every time when you are rotating an object 90 degree so what you need to do just switch the point x comma y so it's going to become 2 comma 3 this is going to become 2 comma 6 and this was 3 comma 6 it will be 6 comma 3 now again now you need to identify your original position where you are having your figure the original position is on the first quadrant now once i'm shifting it to the anti-clockwise direction 90 degree it means that I will end up over here in the second quadrant. Now in this second quadrant, your x is negative and y is positive. So write negative values for all the x-axis. So this is going to be minus, this is going to be minus, and this is going to be minus as well. Now take all these three points. So minus 2 comma 3. So this is x is minus 1. Let's say this is going to be your minus 2. And for y it's 3 okay so over here it's 2 so 3 should be a little up so this is our first point do not mind that I am taking random points and I'm trying my best to keep the same distance but actually if somewhere it's not 
you have to neglect it and try to learn the concept that I am trying to convey basically. So the a point is minus 2 comma 3. So I am going to write it as a double prime. Now b double prime is minus 2 comma 6. This is minus 2 comma 6 if it is 3 and 6 will be over here. So here we got b double prime and c double prime is basically minus 6 comma 3. So minus 2 mi minus 3 here minus 4 minus 5 and minus 6 comma 3. So 3 is here. Let's remove Let's remove this and here we got C prime. Now join all these three points and here you go. And this is what we have got now A double prime, B double prime and C double prime. So I have taken the same example and we have learned how to rotate triangle ABC 90 degree by keeping your center as an origin in clockwise direction and in anti-clockwise direction. So this is what we have learned. Now what I am going to do now next. So in next we are going to learn about the rotation uh, 180 degree where we are going to keep the angle 180 degree. So now the center angle that we have got 180 degree. I am going to keep the same triangle. Now the first we will be learning as clockwise. Now one more thing. Once you are having the angle basically 180 degree in that you don't really need the direction whether you are going as a clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. If you are having this triangle and you are trying to rotate it 180 degree, let's say we are going clockwise, you will be end up on this quadrant. So if you try to go anti-clockwise by keeping this as a center, now in anti-clockwise direction again you will end up on this quadrant as well. So for 180 degree rotation or for 180 degree angle, you don't really need the direction for where you have to go. So, so we can neglect this part and I'm writing 0 comma 0. This is basically your center of point. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the same figure. This is ABC and we are going to rotate it to 180 degree. Okay, so for 180 degree, you have to do the opposite. So if your A is 3 comma 2, you are going to take the opposite of 3 will be minus 3. The opposite of 2 will be minus 2. So this is going to be your A prime. Now for B prime, the opposite of 6 is obviously minus 6. The opposite of 2 is going to be minus 2. And the opposite of... Uh, and the opposite of C is for 3, it's going to be minus 3. And for 6, it's going to be minus 6. So now these are the three coordinates of the triangle ABC we have got by rotating along in 180 degree angle. And the direction, we really don't care in that case once we have an angle of 180 degree. But the center of point, we do know that it's 0 comma 0. Okay. So... Now the first point A is minus 3 comma minus 2. So 1, 2, this is minus 3 comma minus 2, minus 1, minus 2. I am removing these. So 1, 2, minus 3, 2. So this is the point that we have got for A prime. For B prime, minus 6 comma minus 2. 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, comma minus 2. So this is the point that we have got B prime. And then C prime, X is minus 3, 1, 2, minus 3, and Y is minus 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is the point we have got for C prime. Okay, now join all these three points, and this is what we have got. Once we rotate this original triangle ABC 180 degree by keeping your center of point as 0 comma 0. So if you if the, the clockwise you are going to end up in the same way and by anti-clockwise you are going to end up in a same way as well. So I hope that this video was very helpful, helpful for you to understand the basic concept of uh, rotation in transformation that how do we have learned. So what do we have learned in today's video? We have learned the first thing that how to rotate an object 
90 degree clockwise by keeping the center of point 0 comma 0 then we have learned that how to rotate a figure 90 degree in anti-clockwise direction by keeping 0 comma 0 as your center of origin and then we have learned rotation with 180 degree I will the direction I already told you we don't really care about that by keeping 0 comma 0 as your center point so there is one more thing that I would like to <coughs> highlight over here that the only the center of point 0 comma 0 or, or, or origin that is not the only case you can you, you will be having the point 2 comma 1 or sometime if you are having or if you are appearing for your IGCSC or GCSE GCS exam you might have been given the object or you might have been given the image and what you really need to identify that which type of transformation it is if you tell them that if it is rotation or reflection or translation you will be given one mark and then you will also have to define that how many degrees and what is the center of origin that you are having so this is all we are also going to cover the uh, this is all these three points that I have explained already that you are having the object and the image and we will try to identify that what kind of transformation it is and also the other thing we will be going to cover them all in my future video as well. So I hope that this video is quite helpful for you.